Number three, you should be the one to take the most difficult assignment that everyone is running away from. Take the most difficult assignment that everyone is afraid of. That's how you get promotion. Whether in the church or in business, they say, this particular assignment that everybody is running away, you go for it. That's where promotion is. You go for it. If you see Daniel chapter 2, verse 13 to 16, you'll see something there. Daniel chapter 2, verse 13 to 16. There was a decree. So you see this king, King Nebuchadnezzar. He got a dream and he asked his witch doctors to tell him the dream and the interpretation. Can you imagine? They said, boss, if you tell us the dream like this, we'll get the interpretation. He said, no. If you are serious witch doctors, tell me the dream and the interpretation. They failed and they started killing people. And the scripture records in verse 13 says that, and the decree went forth and the wise men should be slain and they sought Daniel and his fellows to be slain. They were looking for Daniel to be killed. And Daniel answered it with counsel and wisdom to Ariok, the captain of the king's guard, which was gone forth to slay the wise men of Babylon. He answered and said Ariok, to Ariok, the king's captain, why is the decree so hasty from the king? Then Ariok made the thing known to him. And Daniel went him and desired of the king that he would give him time that he would show the king the interpretation. What took the witch doctor's days? Daniel said, give me one night. I'll show up in the morning with an answer. You need to step forward for the complicated assignment, the risky things. Step forward for it. Daniel asked for one evening. <laughs> he did not ask much time. He said, one evening. I pray for you that whenever your boss say, who can I send to Congo where there's Ebola? Say, yes, sir, I'm here. The most risky assignments, that's where there's the biggest promotion. Soldiers who are sent to Somalia, those are the guys who get ranks. The ones who stay in the office writing checks, they stay on the same rank. It's the same in the kingdom of God. Risk takers, the rank go up. If you don't take the risk to pray for the sick, you'll never see the gift of healing. If you don't take the risk to pray for the dead, you'll never see the gift of raising the dead. If you don't take the risk to marry, you'll never see the goodness of a role in marriage. Take the risk. Be the first to take those complicated assignments. There are some guys at work they go for those things. And you know, it reaches a time that leadership recognizes you already. So when they're sitting and they look at the assignment, they say, this one is tough. Your name comes in their mind. They say, this one, <laughs> Michael. Every time there is a risky assignment, go for it. If they need someone to work on the weekend and on holiday, say, I am here. I'm the one. If they want someone to stay late to write minutes, you stay. That's where the promotion is. Amen. I remember when I was working for a private company in Kampala. I used to go to office at 7 and leave at 10 p.m. for three months. Because we were rebranding the company. And I was... You see, so, 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 so this is how the manager decided. We were about four people in administration. He said, Michael, you're the only one who is not married and who is not studying. Can you imagine? So at five, my colleagues who are married and who are studying, they leave. Me, I stay up to 10 p.m. every day. No extra salary. I did that for three, four, five, six months. But the experience I gained, those guys don't have. Even the class they were studying, they couldn't get that experience. <laughs> That's why your children should not, you should not let your children say, I'm too tired. There's no being tired when you're young. How can you be tired when you're young? 
Don't allow your children to say, I'm tired. I see some parents, they say, Gwe, you first sit down and rest. You have been working all day. Ah, a child is tired. Me, I didn't know people could get tired until I grew older. Because my mother could not, there's nothing in her vocabulary that a child is tired. There was nothing like this. So I, I didn't know people would get tired. So I see parents today, they say, oh, you are tired. You sit first a bit. Tired! God have mercy on us. Risky assignments. That's the one you should go for.